Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's one of the most sought after designers in the country. And now he's starring in the new Bravo design show, Buying It Blind. Let's take a look. Michelle is one of the most sought after designers in the Atlanta area. He's an artist. Every single couple presents a specific challenge. I'm okay with that. I'm good at it. Broken chandeliers, no fireplace surround. I got that covered. Really? I can fix that. Really? I can fix it. My, my, my. As an interior designer, Michelle Smith Board makes jaws drop with his amazing transformations. And today he's here with us to transform our holiday table. Please welcome <laughs> Michelle. Smith Boyd. I don't know if I can live How up to you? that. It's so I good. Don't, like. I don't know why you can, honey. You already have. This table is amazing already. Oh, it's for you. Well, thank you. Well, fabulous, well, fabulous. How about it? Let's talk a little bit about the designs and the holiday design. We're approaching fall, and then we right. have so many great uh, holidays. We have Thanksgiving coming up, and then shortly after Christmas. Talk to me a little bit about why did you choose the colors? And I also see everything here is real. Everything Absolutely. here, as everything. well as the food. Everything. Yes. The real or the better. So it's just seasonal centerpieces, right? Yes. I like to hold on to that, that fresh air, that crisp air, that you know holiday spirit as long yes. as I can. And I want to bring it inside, and I want to do it with centerpieces. And that's just one of the easiest ways to do it, right? Mm. And I'm not even asking you to go out of your way. I got everything here at grocery stores. I bet you got it from Trader Joe's. I started at Trader Joe's. Because I go to Trader Joe's too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, money. I made real good friends with the flower guy yes. last night. So yeah, and, and listen, I take cues from fashion all the time. Yeah. So it's monochromatic, I love color blocking. Yes. And I do tone on tone in rooms. You know, love that. It feels really good, but I like to mix texture. And that's what we did here. What is it about a flower that makes the room pop? You know what, honestly, I feel like a room isn't complete unless there's something else living in there Come other on. than you. Yes, it's gotta live. be something living I live in there. for you. Yeah. Yes. We want collected interiors, right? Not just one note. Absolutely. And so let's take our flower arrangements to the next level and add edible ones. Mm. All right? So in addition to um, in addition to the flowers, I like the idea of like coupling it. I mm -hmm. love the idea of creating moments, right? Okay. So at least three pieces. So one element, two being the veggies, the gourds here are perfect for Halloween, mm -hmm. perfect for fall, right? Yes. And if you're tired of looking at it, you can make some soup. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, we can, we won't be hungry either. Now talk to me about the little accent pieces you chose. Yeah. Now it's fall here is, is this a boar? It's a, just a little pig. It's a pig? It's, oh, this little pig you went to that's, market. That's fair. Okay, then, it's all right It's actually a then. bank, believe it or not. Well, we like the bank too. <laughs> we gotta we, save some we, money. We really do. So how much would something like this, an arrangement like this, how much would something like this cost? Um, you know, I'm a little much, right? So mm -hmm. I have more in here than you actually need, but I love all this yes, texture. Yes, yes. So I, I would value this at approximately 50 bucks. Okay, not bad for a It's not piece. terrible. And you can make, and these flowers could last for up to two weeks. At least. And there's enough in here to make two arrangements, but I want to add a little more juice for you. I like the juice, honey. <laughs> you got the juice. Now let's talk a little bit about this arrangement. It is gorgeous. You have all types of reds yeah. and burgundies and hints of yellow. Tell me a little bit about this one. This one's a little bit more traditional, a little bit more Christmas. It's a little bit more mm -hmm. mom, right? Love and that. so the traditional Christmas, but a little bit of quad now, we've got pomegranates mm -hmm. and pears and red grapes, all these things that just kind of like help to layer yes. and tell a story. It does. It, it reminds me of like, um, you know, fine art, like oil yes. paintings when you see feast and so forth. Yes. And you know, that horn of plenty and Thanksgiving, yeah. all that good stuff. It's kind of inspired by that. Love that, and, love that. Uh, this is really easy. A couple of candles on the table, you're set. The turkey only lasts so long, right? Yes. So that centerpiece is gonna go away. But this can last for all, you know, for weeks at a time. Absolutely. Now, let's talk a little bit about being able to maintain an arrangement, because you don't want to spend $50 on an arrangement and then, you know, oh my God, two days, it's gone. We know we, it can last for up to two weeks. Right. How do we maintain it? I honestly water every day. Mm -hmm. I go fresh in, water. Fresh water okay. into the middle. Like so, and you know what else works? What else? Cold water. Cold water. I swear to you, sometimes I'll spritz with cold water and they'll come back to mm. life. It's kind of like a shock, right? Yeah. Um, and But I go in the middle, open it up, pour right down the center. Okay. Yeah, really easy. It's not complicated at all. Now let's talk a little bit about this, because old school will tell you to put an aspirin in, <laughs> in, 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 the, in, the, in the pot. Is, is that true? I've heard that. Yeah? I've heard that. I've heard that. Don't you love the deep purples here? This monochromatic story is amazing. Love Even that. purple potatoes. I love that. You did your thing on that. But I love <laughs> the soft lilacs and purples, and it's, it's very pleasant. Right. This could be used for a wedding. 
Uh, yeah. Love I it. mean, if you're, if you're loving like that. I, you know, well, you know, <laughs> love is love, honey. How about it? So I want to talk a little bit about this. I see that this, uh, you got something here for me to do. So we're going to be building an arrangement. I'm me to work. Lord Jesus, I'm already it was easy. at work. I said Michelle. it was easy. I want to show them how easy it is. All right. You can look as fabulous as you do yes. and still put something amazing, to, amazing together. All right. Well, let's get it started. Right. What do we do? Minimal effort. Maximum look. Okay. Brussels sprouts up top. I would start with the heavier things at the, the bottom. On the bottom, Makes yeah. sense. Maybe the cauliflower. And I love these. They're so uh, architectural, yes, right? Yes, yes. Oh, Artichoke is beautiful. Love it. You okay. build that. I'll build this. These two are like for a longer table. Okay. So I would do these on opposite ends, mm -hmm. and you be in the middle. On top of the table. Exactly. So this is a massive table. Exactly. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I like the cauliflower, so I'm going to put that at the bottom just to give me a little bit of a... Um, Foundation. Okay. I like that you have the I onions like that here. Word. Come on, foundation. Ain't nothing like a strong foundation. I like that word. If you're gonna be a love, you build it on what, Michelle? A strong, a strong foundation. foundation. So listen. Absolutely. In so, my show, yes. we are building on the foundation of trust. This new show on Bravo, <laughs> so it is called Buying It Blind. Buying I it don't blind. know if I could ever buy anything blind, honey. I have to see, touch, and feel. So, Why, you wouldn't trust me? I would trust you, because you're proven. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so tell me, is there a little drum on the show? It is on Bravo. Come on. It's Oh wait, you are an alum, are you not? I am, So too. you know. <laughs> I do know. You won't be able to lie to me, honey, about it all. But listen. The only drama is people trusting their life savings with us. Ooh. I mean, if, you know, if you think that's tough, right? That is tough. Um, so we meet them one time. We listen to what they have to say. They're having trouble finding a house, whether it be neighborhood, school district, you know, whatever they can agree on a husband and wife. Budget. Or maybe, maybe they're always. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's something else going on we don't know about. But my job, our job as a team, we have a real estate agent, a contractor, and myself. We find a house. Uh -huh. We choose three, pick our favorite and then we reveal the house to the client. So there are two reveals in every show. But that's after they purchase? After. Oh my God. My after. nerves will be real bad. After. And so the second reveal comes at the end after we've gone through the process of designing a house uh -huh. for people that we don't really know. So we're designing blind too. Wow. So you're trying to uh, understand a person's personality without ever meeting them. Only once, oh only once. God. So listen. So what do you look at? You look at the clothes that they wear. Do you look, look at, at how, how clothes, manicured they are? I look at their closet. I look at everything they say. It's it's very very nerve wracking. Of course it is. <laughs> to say the <laughs> but least. But we can do it. And look at you. You try to be so politically correct because I know you want to say something. I, else, I gotta be nice. I gotta <laughs> be nice. Love you much for that. Well, I gotta tell you, Michelle. <laughs> thank you so much. I love you being here on the circle. Uh, and buying it blind premieres tomorrow, November the second. Yes, it does at eight. Eastern Time and 7 Central on, guess what, Bravo.